You're freaking kidding me. You're freaking kidding me. What's up Team Dink? Here we are at the trout stream and I'm after some more browns. Today I'm throwing this Rapala original floater because you know what? It's fun to fish with and I'm really excited and I really honestly I'm optimistic that it's gonna catch me a nice big toad. So I just got done working and I've got a couple hours to fish. One of the main reasons I wanted to fish today is we've got some nice warm trends and we've also got overcast skies and I think that's gonna put us in position to catch a nice toadzilla. Regardless, enough you've been yapping. Let's start casting blessing, let's go. Last couple trips for me have been pretty slow, but I think these overcast skies are gonna help drastically. And I'm sticking with this jerkbait because honestly, I just wanna, I wanna gain confidence in it. I know they'll hit it. It's more about learning the proper cadences and kind of learning how these fish react. Oh my gosh, I just remembered something. I have this. It's a coffee collection cliff bar and I'm extremely excited to eat it. Why? Because it has the equivalent of one shot of espresso in it. And you know I like energy and you know I like coffee. So let's get started with this party. Let's go. My energy level's at about a five and a half right now. After this, I'll probably be coasting at a nice 7.8. Probably work this jerkbait a little too fast after eating this, but oh well. Mmm. Well... That was tasty. If I fish this for a super long time and don't get a bite, I might switch to the spinner. But honestly, I just, I have so much confidence in the spinner. I'm trying to build up confidence in other baits as well. Sometimes you have to set aside time just to try to get better as an angler. And it's not always about catching as many fish as you possibly can. One major key will be watching my jerk bait and looking out for followers. These brown trout in my experience are absolutely notorious for chasing a lure up. And if you're not paying attention, you might miss out on some hints that they're gonna give you. Because if they follow it, you can usually learn something from them. The water's too high right now, and so we've got super slop. But that is sketchy. I will sink in so deep if I go there. I don't know how I'm supposed to keep following the creek. It's so mucky. There's nowhere to cross. Note to all you viewers right now, if I fall in, it's going to be a problem because this mud is super, super, like, gunked up to where if I step in it, my entire leg will basically go in that son of a gun. So let's not do that. Okay. Oh my lord. We did it. We crossed. Basically, I just crossed that gunk. Probably took me eight, eight minutes. Wasting my time. Ah, shoot. We're on the back side of a log. Oh, I got it. I don't know how I got it, but I got it. Oh my Lord. See, that's why it's important to have patience. I did not pull on it as soon as it got snagged. Oh, dude, dude. Big and big and came out and torched it. Okay, good news. They're here. He came out and swerved at it, but he didn't. Oh, there he is. Guys, he just swerved at it again, but he missed it. I wish it got just a little bit deeper. Oh, dude, he's swiping on it. It's a big trout, I think. <laughs> a big trout for me isn't very big, but it's big for me. Oh my Lord. He's rolled on it. He's rolled on it every single cast. Oh, he just, oh my gosh, there he is. Oh, Lord, 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 Lord. Oh, Lordy, oh, Lordy, hard spot, hard spot. Got him, got him. Not a bad fish, not a bad fish. He freaking torched it. Look at that. I gotta get somewhere where I can handle this fish properly. Wow, that was a lot of work to get him back properly, but I tell you what, it's always worth it. I wanna make sure these fish are in good shape so that way we can catch them again in the future when they get larger. Catching trout on a jerkbait's fun, but it's even more fun on a work day. When you put in a hard day's work and then you go out and get rewarded with some fish after work, that's a good feeling, my friends. You know what's funny is, I think that there's multiple in this pool. One other one swiped at it on the cast where I got this one and he looked just a little bit fatter, but similar in size. They're still in here, I saw another one. Oh, oh my lord. Oh my gosh. Bigger than the last one, 100%. Oh my gosh, he's there. He keeps swerving it. Dude, probably a 16 incher if I had to guess. Come on. Oh, he's tailing it. Dude, they just come up and just wave their tail next to it. Guys, this is exhilarating. Absolutely exhilarating. There's no better word for it. It's insanity. It's so fun to watch. Oh my gosh. You have to be seeing this on the GoPro. Please tell me you're seeing this. Oh no, 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 no. Get off that branch. One little tiny branch, get off that branch. No, 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 no. There's a tiny little branch and the hook just barely got it. And then when I tried to shake it off, it got worse. Gosh, dang it. Not only are there big fish right in front of me, but I'm about ready to lose a $10 lure. 
I wish I had something I could slide down my line and knock it with. <gasps> oh, oh no, my rod tip. Oh my gosh, you're freaking kidding me. I shouldn't have been jerking on it so hard. Oh no, I can't lose my rod tip also. I was just talking about how much I love this rod. We just went from bad to really freaking bad. I'm gonna go find a place to cross. I have to cross now. Okay, okay. I have to go a long ways to cross, but I know I can cross. <laughs> this is very laughable right now. So. I was having a great time because I just caught a brown trout on the jerkbait. I was stoked and then this happened. So my jerkbait got snagged and then while I was trying to shake it off really aggressively, my rod tip popped off because it's a two piece rod. And now my rod tip is in the water, in deep water. And I've got the other piece of my rod and this rod I am not losing. I've got a plan and this is gonna work or at least I, I hope it's gonna work. So basically what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna cut the line and I'm gonna tie it off to this tree. I'm then gonna have a long walk on my hands all the way around, but I'm gonna be able to access this spot right here. Goal is to get out there, walk in the water a little bit, grab my rod tip, grab the jerkbait, bite the line off, put the line in my pocket, of course, don't litter, and then be on my way. I just found this blue bucket right here, and we're gonna mark this location by hanging the blue bucket in the tree. Okay, now I'm gonna bite off the line, tie it to this tree really securely so we don't lose the rod tip, because if we lose the rod tip, I'm gonna be so pissed. Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go. We are wandering on the other side. We have officially crossed. Let's pray that that line held. I can see the bucket. This is the most ridiculous thing that's happened to me in a long time. Okay, good. The rod tip's still there. Holy crap, there's literally rope right here. I think it's gonna be too deep for my muck boots. Okay, thank goodness there's rope, just in case. This might get a wee bit deeper than we want it to. Okay, yep, I got water in my muck boot. Now we're just fully committed. Oh boy, we're gonna get this, baby. Yes. Okay, we broke the line. We got all the line back, we got the rod tip, and we got the jerk bait. Plus, we picked up some rope. Here's the thing, you never know, you might need a little rope. The other thing is, you know, somebody littered this, we're gonna take it home. The trout gods were good to me. Now, I don't actually believe in the trout gods, but just let that be known, I'm, you know, I'm a Catholic. But the trout gods were good to me, therefore I'm gonna be good to them and remove this littered material from their home. Well, I gotta say, that was probably the most interesting thing that's happened to me in a while when it comes to fishing, but I tell you what, all we can do now is take a deep breath and let it out and be done with it. So now I've got the jerkbait re-rigged on the rod with a little bit less line. I've got some fishing line, I've got some rope in my back pocket, and I've got a positive attitude, also wet socks. But we're gonna go catch another fish because I know they're chomping. I mean, there's a bunch of fish in this pool right in front of me. They're probably a little spooked at this point, so I'm just gonna go ahead and keep moving. What an interesting day, folks. Now I'm fishing on this side of the creek. Eh, who knew? Back to it, let's go. All this does, guys, is just fuels the fire because I'm gonna come back. I know now that there are big fish because I saw multiple fish swerve this jerk bait in this pool and they're good size fish. Like, yeah, they're not 20 plus inch trophy class, but they're 16 inches and I have yet to catch those. So the fact that they're willing to come swerve this thing not only gives me confidence in the fact that I'm choosing the right day to fish, weather-wise, but I'm also choosing a lure that gets them to react and I'm super thrilled by that. spot looks really magical. There ought to be a few here. I think what I realized about this thing is I've been reeling it too fast in previous trips. And who knows, obviously every day might be a little different, but I'm trying to slow down and get as much depth out of it as possible and incorporate some, oh my Lord. <laughs> I hope you saw that on GoPro. I'm trying to incorporate some pauses is what I was gonna say, but that fish completely freaked me out. He came up and swung at it as I was reeling it up. Oh my gosh! You saw that, you had to have seen that. One hard twitch, and he went nuts for it. This is the one, three, two, oh! I swore one ticked it. There he is, got him. I knew I would, I knew I would. Just a little guy, just a little guy. All right, look at that. I thought that by using this thing, I would catch some giants. So far, that's definitely not the case. I've had some giants flash on it though. Looky there, look at those colors. Isn't it pretty? I'm not getting it quite far enough, I don't think. Oh, there he is. Oh, he's coming towards me. He's trying to get in the junk, trying to get in the junk. He feels a little better. Feels a little better. He's not pulling any drag though. Oh, I got him hooked kind of weird. That would be why. So this is not something I'm proud of. He swiped at it and got hooked in the back. 
All right, little guy. Honestly, I barely had him hooked, so he's good. All right. I knew there'd be more in here, though. I had a hard time believing that I'd only get one fish out of this hole. Well, at least I'm gaining confidence in the Rapala floater. They're just, they just swipe at it hardcore. That's the one thing that I've noticed. They honestly swipe at about everything, but it just seems like the inline spinner, because it's such a small profile, they get it a lot more frequently because it's like, it's hard to even swipe at something that small. The other thing is I'm probably, I'm sure I probably have a lot of fish come up and swipe at it and I never see them on the spinner because it's deeper in the water column. So I don't know. It's one of those deals. This is certainly something I'm gaining confidence in, but it just seems like my, my bite to land ratio is pretty low because they don't really mouth it. They just swirl on it. It's super fun to watch though. I got to say, this is a very, very fun bait to fish with because just the way that they come out of nowhere and just slurp it, it's crazy. Oh, there he is. I was looking at some deer. Oh, he popped off. I had a bad angle on him. I was literally, there's deer up there and I was watching them and then he just torched it. <laughs> That's what's fun about trout fishing though. You're out here in the woods and you might just stumble upon some wildlife. And so you just got to take it all in. Oh no, son of a gun. This stupid log screwed up my hook set. That was a better fish. Probably a 14 or 15 incher. it! I blame the log. I don't take, oh, there he is. Got him. No. Oh my Lord. Okay. What's going on with this jerk bait? Why have I missed so many fish in a row? Three fish in a row, three bites in a row. God, he jumped and shook it. That's a little different. That was a dope jump, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> that was like better than most bass jumps. That was epic. That's why they call it an undercut bank. You know what I wonder? How many fish have tried to hit my jerkbait that I haven't seen? Because the amount of times that I see them come up and swerve and not even touch the jerkbait has been crazy. What did I learn from the last time? Do not use lose your rod tip. I'm in like the most weak branch, but this daggum four pound monofilament is going to be the death of me. And it is just not budging. Well, this is a goner. And bye bye jerk bait. I also have this guy, but I'm going to save him for a future fishing trip because I really don't want to lose two of these things. So this guy's going back in the bag and I'm going to put on a spinner. The jerk bait's definitely been fun and I've worked up a ton of confidence in it, but unfortunately he's now in a tree and I'm very sad about that. Hopefully somebody else finds that jerk bait someday and then catches fish on it. I go with the old bread and butter, the old Panther Martin, black and yellow. No. <laughs> Not my day, folks. I, as soon as it left my hands, I was like, oh no. Sometimes, you know, with spinning gear, you just slip a little bit and it just launches. Gosh, dang it, I'm so flustered right now, folks. Unbelievable. This is how we fish, breaking off fishing lures. I know this probably won't work, but I'm gonna try it anyways. How's your day going, Ethan? Honestly, it's going pretty well. I saved my fishing pole and I didn't lose it. I've caught three trout. And yeah, I've, you know, I've lost $15 worth of lures, but overall, I can't complain. I got outside, I got fishing after work. Who can complain about that? Feel free to email Panther Martin and tell him to send me some more spinners, because otherwise I'll probably just end up going broke at Cabela's. Fish, on the mule jig, on the mule jig. He ate it on the fall. <laughs> Not a bad one. Not a bad fish. Well, now I have confidence in the chartreuse. Not a bad fish. Boom shakalaka, look at that. Oh God, he's doing the death roll. Okay, well the death roll worked for him. <laughs> the old death roll. Gators, brown trout. I do need to get going, I really need to get going. Okay, that's a wrap. I'm wandering through the woods right now, thinking maybe, just maybe, I'll be able to backtrack and find my Rapala. You're freaking kidding me. You're freaking kidding me. Look what I found. This lure right here is both something I love and I hate. I freaking found it. I cannot believe this. I backtracked to my steps and I found where I broke it off. I thought I saw it earlier fall out of the tree, but I wasn't 100% sure. Bada bing, bada boom, there it is. Holy cannoli, folks, today was epic. No, I did not catch the trophy trout I was after, but I did not lose the jerk bait. That's right. I thought I lost the jerk bait, but somehow, some way, I managed to get it back. Life is dandy. Regardless, I gotta get home, I gotta eat, I gotta shower, I gotta take the dog out, I got a lot of things to do, so we'll catch you next time.